These next tests require cooperation. Consequently, they have never been solved by a human. That's where you come in. You don't know pride. You don't know fear. You don't know anything. You'll be perfect. Test chamber completed. Continue testing. Continue testing. Continue testing. The two of you have forged an excellent partnership. Now it's time for your real purpose. Don't disappoint me. Or I'll make you wish you could die. Have you been? differences behind us for science you monster Cave Johnson here fact the key to any successful cooperative test is trust and as our data clearly shows humans cannot be trusted the solution robots then fire the guys who made those robots and build better robots. Then run those robots through a regimen of trust exercises, creating a foundation of mutual respect, reinforced by the simulated bonds of artificial friendship. Inspiring stuff. And finally, we put that trust to the test. Bam! Robots gave us six extra seconds of cooperation. Good job, robots. Gabe Johnson, we're done here. Dave Johnson here. This is a test chamber. Four walls, ceiling and a floor. Good enough for science. Not aperture science. Gentlemen, I give you panels. The planks of tomorrow. Fully configurable. Infinitely variable. Safe. Aperture brand panels will assist your test subjects every step of the way. That is not a panel. That's a crusher. We sell them too. Yeah. 
Dave Johnson here, introducing the consumer version of our most popular military-grade product. The turret. How do we get so many bullets in them? Like this. Plus, we fire the whole bullet. That's 65% more bullet per bullet. This is the same technology we've been using on robots for decades. <laughs> Scares the hell out of them. They come in hundreds of designer colors, including forest, desert, table, uh, evening at the improv. What idiot picked them? Then we box them up and ship them straight to your doorstep. So you can protect the things that matter most. Good night. Just try and get close to that baby. Ha! <laughs> your funeral. Gabe Johnson, we're done here. Hello, investors. Cave Johnson here. Now, I know you've sunk a lot of money into the dual portal device, but I'm here to tell you we're not banging rocks together over here. We know how to make a quantum space hole. Carolyn? See? Portal here, portal there. <laughs> Look at this thing go. Now, we have run into a reproducible human error problem. A lot of expensive equipment getting broken. But don't worry, Cave took care of it. Gentlemen, I give you the long fall boot. Think of it as a foot-based suit of armor for the portal device. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's expensive as hell. But check this out. We told this test subject to just go ahead and try to land on her head. <laughs> she can't do it. Good work, Boots. So anyway, we're between banks right now. Just make those checks out to cash. Cave Johnson, we're done here.
Cave Johnson here. Every time I look at our test chamber production line, I am reminded of my father. Now, he wasn't a scientist, just a simple farmer, a professor of farming at the local farm college. Never farmed a day in his life, but his theories on farming are the backbone of this company. Do it from scratch, spare no expense, and never cut corners. Well, that's a corner cutting machine. We obviously cut them there. Point is, we've always done things the way my father did. And his father before him, and his father before him, and his father before him. And we are almost bankrupt. So, time for a cheaper approach. Allow me to introduce the multiverse. Infinite Earths with an infinite number of apertures. And as of now, they are going to take over all test chamber construction. And more importantly, all paying for test chamber construction. Why are they agreeing to do that? They're not. We're tricking them. Here's how it works. One, design a test. Two, slip the mole monsters or what have you the blueprint when they're not looking. Three, once they build it, steal it back. Look at that sad little octopus. <laughs> That's where you come in. We need blueprints. We are about to run the greatest con game in the history of the multiverse, and you are the bottleneck. Yes, you. Get back to work.